Guys, I've got the new J Concepts Hazard wheels right here. Kind of look like something out of Dukes of Hazard, right? Um, these are brass weighted. You can change the weights as you need it. I'm going to show these to you on the table. I've also got the Tusk tires, 4.75. We're going to get all these mounted up and we're going to test on the Phoenix. Let's get to the table. Take a look. This is the setup right here. You've got a nice little textured style outer wheel. It's got the hex in it, full metal, aluminum. Then you have a plastic inner bead lock ring. This is what holds your beads to the outside here and here. You have a metal backside, and this is the brass. Now, this one right here, you can put two of them on it, you know, to kind of work on a little bit of balance. This one has all four on it, and we're going to get all those weighed in. Now, this has all four in it, and since these are going to go on the Phoenix, I definitely need the weight down low. The unweighted wheel minus the bolts is 43 grams, or 1.5 ounces. Each one of the weights are 17 grams or 0.6 ounces. With just two weights on it, we got 78 grams or 2.8 ounces. With all the weights in there, we've got 113 grams or four ounces. That's a quarter pounder. The tire fresh out of the box is 76 grams or 2.7 ounces. The tire fully mounted with all the weights is 191 grams or 6.7 ounces. You get a screw kit with it. The chrome bolts are what holds the wheel together. You have a few extra bolts up here and you have those, which is what actually holds the hubs on. I'll show you guys in a second. These right here are like long set screws. They are very, very small. And this uh, hex wrench is like a 0.035 very very small hex wrench don't lose it what i found that kind of makes these quicker to put together if you don't have like a driver that's at 0 0.035 inch um, just simply get them all started just like what you're seeing here and then just set them up like that and take your finger and just work it around and around until you get it right through here these are the hubs that come with it they are metal so uh yeah very nice pieces here they are mounted up. Got the hubs in there. Now granted, they're probably not going to fit with the larger hex nuts and all that for the uh, Phoenix, but for a normal truck, they absolutely will. Beautiful setup. And this compound, they say it's the green, but feels a little stickier than uh, normal green from what I've had in the past. I'll have to see how these things work out. I got my hopes up. The tread looks great. Should hook up everywhere. The Phoenix, the hexes have a little step to them. That step is seven millimeters. So I had to drill these out to seven millimeters so they would fit. Now there is a secondary hub. Let's see if we can get that in here. You see it right there. I'm not gonna worry about that, but that's about uh, nine, about nine millimeters. I'm not gonna worry about that. It's very, very minimal here. So uh, we're ready to go on. Or, hey, this is the last one to go on. With the larger 8mm nuts, the hubs did not fit. So, we'll run hubless. Well, well, let's see what they got here. We're in two-wheel drive. I'm expecting a lot of tire conformation conforming with this. Basically because I feel they may be a little bit too soft on the foams for this weight truck. Oh, baby. Oh, you're not forgot I got full of drive <laughs> oh man the more I drive this thing the more I like it I think I'm gonna take the raw 500 out and put in a triple seven just because I've got the triple seven handy Ooh. and I think it'll be awesome now I gotta say looking at the tires the way they are right now the conforming and you know how they're wrapping the rocks i think it'll be excellent for general trail uh, we'll see when i get into some of the more crazy stuff now oh sorry for the wind uh that does bring up a point these were a little bit taller than the tires i had on it before so Maybe a little bit more uh, fender rubbing on that. 
you know, you can see them get way up into there here. See that one through the, yeah, all up into there. But it sure sounds better, doesn't it? <laughs> really sounds good. We're gonna go ahead and ease this thing right on over and right into the nasty. Go ahead and get this test started off right. See how the tire roll is on these things. See if we can get into that. <laughs> Definitely need a little more tire support. Now, since I came into this completely wrong, use that dig feature, drop that front end right on in, which actually lined me up about right. Um, we're gonna go to uh, the 33% overdrive. I love the features of the overdrive for this thing, man. Think was really done a great job on this. When you hear about the the ooh, easy easy the uh, features and all you know you're like wow really but guys I tell you what oh oh whoa that was close I really like how this thing is turning out let me get that thing to settle back down nice and easy look at the tire wrap right here Overdrive is doing its thing. Wow, look at that. All right, now here we are. Whoa, 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 I bumped the reverse. <laughs> uh, that's how things get scratched. All right, so now I'm not gonna hit reverse. Got the dig, pull this around. We're still in the heavy overdrive as well, so. Ah, let's see what we got here. Uh, hmm. Still not a fan of rolling this thing. Although after having do, done the video with the SV2 body being light, man, I tell you what, even with the heavy transmission, this is a, uh, this thing I do believe is a force to be reckoned with. All right, easy. Using dig on this climb is kind of oh, oh about to come out. We are about to mess this up. Uh, yeah. No, it took it. I got in better position in case I needed to save it. That sand, that sand run actually kind of messed with the surface a little bit. Granted, I wasn't too easy on it in the sand. And when you get to this spot right here, people think, oh yeah, we're all over, it's said and done. But when you're on that belly and the vehicle has a lean to it like this, that belly is usually not so wide and it can really easily cause a roll. Look underneath there. We're on the side of the belly, the uh, left side. Wow, nice pull on that. Really nice pull. Now we're coming up at this in kind of a bad way here. This is on the steep side. But maybe it'll get this. Look at that tire wrap. All right, now we're gonna see if I can get this thing out of the 33% into the 6.5. And the reason I do that, oh, look at this. Beautiful. The reason I do that is because if you're in heavy overdrive and the back is pulling up on something, it just really just reeks right real hard up against that tire. So selectable overdrive is much more useful than I ever thought it would be. Let me tell you. And for the final run, we're going to go ahead and try this. Throughout the month of December, I'm gonna be doing a lot of work out here on stuff. I do have the 33% overdrive on. This is a very twisty, turny area, and uh, when you're gonna twist and turn a lot, that big overdrive helps out so nice. Drop the slider down, pull that front end over. Here we go, the back is up on it. I ease it down. I'm getting so much trouble right here. 
and I'm not going to let it roll. Oops, get my footing right. All right, we're going to try some dig. There we go. Got that set down. Using the dig, I was able to pull the front end around. And we got a pretty big hole we got to get around right here. Now the big overdrive, when you come into climbs like that, when that front end's really got to get up, it really helps out. But when you get up to like this right here, let's see if the tires keep spinning, should be all right. Nice. Oh yeah, got it. Did not have to shift back. Very clean run. Very clean run. These tires are hooking up great. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, get that pull, get the pull, get the slider on the rock. Use that slider to make the turn. Oh, okay. Now we're kind of in a situation where that back in. Oh, I just used two-wheel drive to pull up out of that. A new driving technique. I'm back into four-wheel drive only 60% right now. <laughs> Using two-wheel drive to bring the back up. That was an accident, but brilliant. Gonna try them on the ramp uh, to finish this up. The ramp is not exactly dry, it's been kind of rainy. I've already driven the tires, they're not exactly fresh out of the package clean. Let's see where we are. Pretty much making it to about where most of the others have made it to. The front right tire is not doing anything. That front end is so light right now. Let's try something curious here. Okay, this is two-wheel drive. Oh, it did make a difference there. There we go. Guess that's going to be it. Guys, I was pleasantly surprised at how well the foams did. At the start, I was talking about trail and all that, and they really, really performed well in the rocks. So, uh, tire roll, that's an issue. Um, obviously, you know, you gotta tune these tires. You get the tires, um, in most cases, unless you're running a really light vehicle, the foams generally need to be tuned regardless of what they are. Um, it's just kind of the way it goes. You either gotta go stiffer or softer. So. We'll see how these work out, but uh, I got to tell you, the tires hook up really good. Again, impressed with the Phoenix. Uh, very nice truck. Bank was really done a good job. Could have done a little bit better on that top gear, so nobody would have to have the clicking issue to figure out. Um, I've, I've had other comments about they've got the same click, so hopefully they can get it taken care of as well. So anyway, tires, phenomenal. I'm going to try them on some different vehicles. Uh, the wheels, they've got a nice retro look, and really, they kind of fit the body style. So, anyway, guys, check that description. I'll link up the wheels, the tires, uh, the body, the truck, the Phoenix, and all that stuff. Make sure you check that out. Guys, thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.